All right, guys. It's time to take the fusion apart and see what's going on. Beautiful. Here's the new steering gear. Comes complete with the motor and everything. They got it to us pretty quick, so I'm kind of wondering if this is a common issue, maybe. But the thing that kind of puzzles me, if you look down on there where the motor bolts to the gear, they use the old Torx bits that were replaced in the recall. So I don't know if they resolved the problem on the Torx bits, strengthened them, or what, but they're using the same bolts that we replaced. Oh well, it's a brand new gear, so I hope nothing has to be done to it, but we'll see. Now I gotta take the old one apart, take it out over there and see what's going on. This is gonna be interesting. And the moment we've all been waiting for. But believe it or not, with how torn down I have this gear right here, I still cannot find exactly what the problem is. So, I'll give you a look at the new gear here. Here's and there's the old one that I've taken apart. So this is the shaft that connects to the intermediate steering shaft inside the vehicle, which then connects to the steering column and ultimately the steering wheel. And this little clock spring wiring here is for the position sensor so it can detect movement whenever you go to turn the steering wheel. And then that is a little gear here which splines to this shaft right here. So even when the car is off, you can manually turn the steering wheel and that'll move your tie rods in and out. So that's what's connected down in here, and as you can see, no visible damage anywhere. Pretty good. No metal pieces, nothing. I took the tie rods off so I could slide the, slide the worm gear shaft out of there, take a look at that, and like I was saying earlier, couldn't find anything wrong with it. Only metal I can find it's down here, just a little bit in there, but I mean next to nothing. And there's nothing high speed going on in this part of the gear anyway, so that pretty much rules that out. So come over here. This is kind of an interesting design. This is the electric motor, which powers the steering gear for power steering assist. It has a belt, this little belt right here, that goes on the shaft. That belt then connects to this pulley here. And as you can see inside, you've got worm gear threads there. You've got worm gear threads here. When the motor assists, this motor spins, drives the belt, which then drives this pulley, and you have all these little ball bearings in there that move the shaft in and out. So I've torn every single component apart in this thing, and I still can't come to a resolution as to what could have possibly caused this noise. There's no gears in the motor. This is just a uh, direct drive motor. No gears, variable speed. So there's nothing in there to make a grinding noise. The only thing I can possibly think of that would have made this noise is the belt slipping. Because of the harshness of that grinding noise and just kind of like the rate it was grinding at, it sounded like it was a high speed component. It, the only thing I can think of is this belt because there's nowhere on the worm gears anywhere. All the little uh, little ball bearings in there were perfectly in place, nothing was broke, nothing was shattered. But I was looking at this part of the gear here that I took off, and as you can see it's kind of black there, as if like the belt was coming in contact with it, or something was making contact that shouldn't have been making contact. And this belt's got a black outer ring here. I couldn't really find any grease on it, which was puzzling, but like I was saying, it's the only thing I can possibly think of that would be making that noise. There is literally nothing else wrong with this entire gear. So all I can think of is it's that belt, because there's nothing wrong with the gear. I mean, absolutely nothing wrong with it anywhere. So I've got a new gear. Fortunately, it comes as a whole assembly, so I'm just going to put a whole new steering gear in the car. That should take care of the problem. But uh, yeah, maybe uh, other Ford techs out there watching this video have an idea of what's going on, what causes that noise, because I've taken this entire gear apart and can't find anything wrong with it, other than that little bit of funky looking black 
uh, grease there, which is right where the belt runs. But, yeah, like I was saying, I can't find a thing wrong with it. I mean, not even any abnormal wear on the belt, so. Sorry if it was a letdown. I was really hoping to see something cool, like a bunch of metal shavings laying in the bottom of this gear or something, but cannot find anything. It still remains a mystery. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the new gear in there and uh, put it all back together. Wasn't too bad to drop out. Got, uh, you just got to drop the lower part of the subframe down, the cradle, and take a few things loose here and there. And that's about it. I took the sway bar out just to make it easier to get out. Probably wasn't 100% necessary, but it just made it so much easier. And there you go. This is a 1.6 EcoBoost. Little baby turbo up there. Cute little thing. Powerful little engine, so these things get up and go. All right, I'm gonna throw the new gear in. All right, one steering gear later and it's all good. That's a little more like it. I couldn't believe the cost of the steering gear in this thing though. $1,232 wholesale price. Yeah, $1,232 wholesale price Can you imagine if you bought that as a customer just a walk-in customer things probably over two grand crazy but it's fixed now it's just off to the uh, alignment shop for a front-end alignment